Jerusalem's old city is less than one square kilometer in size, but every meter of it is steeped in history, and any property that changes hands faces extreme scrutiny. A controversial court ruling in Israel has raised major concerns over an ongoing issue in the old city. Buildings purchased by Israeli settler groups like Ataret Kohanim. In July, the group was awarded possession of three buildings, adding to its existing settlements in all quarters of the old city. This comes more than 12 years after sales contracts were signed between the owner, the Greek Orthodox Church, and foreign companies tied to the settler group. The current patriarch says the church fought to nullify the sales, alleging bribery and conspiracy. And the Israeli court ruling is not the end of the matter. We shall be initiating an appeal process to the High Court of Justice where we have confidence there will be a decision based purely on matters of law, procedure and justice. But leading figures in the Palestinian Greek Orthodox community are concerned with what they see as bad management by the church's leadership and actions in line with Israel's attempts to gain more control of East Jerusalem. Why they take this house? In my opinion, I think that this house... We visited one of the buildings in question in the Muslim quarter. Old city analyst Halil Tafakji believes the move by Ataret Kohanim, either directly or indirectly, was done with the blessing of the Israeli government. This is the aim of the government. The government wants to take this house to control the whole area around Al-Aqsa Mosque. So if you're looking for this uh, whole building, this building is close to Bab Hutta. Bab Hutta is not far from here, only 60 meters. So if they take this house, it means for security, they want to close the main road between the Bab Spot or Stevanus Gate until the old city. Ataret Kohanim declined Al Jazeera's request for an interview. The other two buildings are here at Jaffa Gate, the main entrance into the old city from West Jerusalem. Some feel as though these buildings were purchased because of their strategic location, but it's also a highly sensitive one. In the nerve center of the old city, and the old city is the epicenter of the conflict. This is the epicenter of the epicenter. You are putting in ideologically driven settlers whose goal is to make sure that this will not be the pluralistic Jaffa Gate that we have. It's not clear what Ateret Kohanim will do with these buildings or when. But what is clear is the legal battle over them is far from over. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera in Jerusalem's Old City.